Well, it seems so, where every 10 feet, you could, yes. uh, when I was up there, I was, cause that was the first thing I questioned. I was like, why'd they do it like that? Because it's such a large roof. Mm. So it was, it was about every 10 feet and it was, it was good rubber roofing. It was EPDM 060, but the fact that they were in space, <laughs> 10 feet, it just gives the roof more flaws and penetration points that it doesn't need. You're and saying you can see your drainage is one, two, and those must be two drainage as well. Yeah. How, how big, how wide is, what's the widest you can get instead of 10 feet? Uh, 50, I think I can actually get up to 100 by 50. Whoa, just a big sheet. Yeah, full massive, pieces. Massive, yeah. How are you going to get it up there? It's so heavy. They'll go ahead and they'll use a lull. Oh. So they'll use a machine or if you have to, you, you cannot put it on. Like, it's too heavy. No yeah. Care. yeah, you get that's a machine. Not... But on a commercial zone like that, that's fine with parking. You just pull up. And I could check with them. I think the biggest sheet I could get, I think 50 by 100 maybe. I can ask them because if they had to, they'd bring in more. But they also do check sometimes why they do best practice. Like you're essentially looking at this in four zones. One, two, three, four. So your best practice might end up being one, a middle break seam. So three, and then same thing right here. You're going to have a, maybe a seam come across. And then you're back again. So you might end up wanting to go with a little overlap. So you do, so you do like a sixty, a uh, hundred foot sheet by fifty, but you end up only going sixty. You know what mm. I mean? So you're getting over that hump. That that that. You basically have to map it out on which size sheets you'd end up ordering to make it have as little amount of seams as possible, mm. but also making sure that it's functioning properly. Because you basically want to have this zone, all this area, flow to this spot. All this area is gonna want to shoot to this spot, then all this. So you're basically you're tapering off the middle and then all the exterior walls up to a higher, you want to make this the same height as all your walls so that everything flows this way, everything flows that way, and then everything flows in and in. So you oh. just have to do a little more mapping out behind it before, because what ends up happening is you get a little stagnant stuff here right now, but we get a heavy rainstorm, you know, everything's on a one inch. This might just all be, all be flooding. And next, you know, now look, it's all running this way and then it's just getting into everything. It's just, mm -hmm. It'll start to find whichever holes it can go to first. Yes, sir. Um, all right. So 